Peace, I'm Miss Mila Rose, and today we are talking all about customer quality and why customer quality is very important. So what do I mean when I'm talking about customer quality? I am talking about the quality of your customer, and I'm gonna give you two more extreme examples to show you what I mean about the difference between a good quality customer and a poor quality customer. A poor quality customer might be someone who is constantly spamming you messages hey hey i want this i want this um actually i want this changing his mind sending a bunch of messages changing his whole complete request on you maybe multiple times not placing an order disappearing coming back months later asking for something completely different and then disappearing again but because there are so many examples of this let me give you a second example of a poor quality customer this kind of customer might have so much money to woo you with to support you with to pay for services and customs but this customer is not respective of your boundaries is very rude tries to gaslight you is very disrespectful respectful and is overall just constantly causing arguments with you and is just a big headache to your day-to-day -day work. This kind of customer is also a poor quality customer. Now let's talk about an example of a good quality customer. Again, let's give a couple examples. Example number one, this customer is incredible incredibly patient with you whenever something comes up which could be rare but it still happens this customer is so understanding not only that but this customer isn't just going to disappear this customer is going to come back this customer is going to wait for you to be able to fulfill the service despite you going through something in that moment this customer is very understanding that sometimes life gets in the way and that you want to fulfill whatever orders that this customer wants to place for you, but you just can't do it right now. This customer has worked with you for years and is a very loyal customer. This customer is a high quality customer. A second example of a high quality customer is a customer who will send you exactly what they want and place their order relatively in a timely manner and they will come back for repeat orders. This is another example of a high quality customer. Essentially, a poor quality customer is someone that A, wastes your time, and B, causes you mental fatigue. Sometimes, even if this customer is a paying customer, it's not worth the hassle to actually provide services for this customer. In these instances, it would be worth your peace of mind to let this customer go. The money is not always worth it. And that's exactly why I'm talking about the quality of customers today. Because please, please, please don't sell yourself short and think that you have to settle for poor quality customers. You can aim and shoot for the high quality customers and kick out those poor quality customers that are really ruining your business and draining you mentally. As long as you're staying consistent with your craft and showing up every day the higher quality customers will come in and you can show that you're not going to be accepting of any poor quality customers that's not to say that the poor quality customers won't knock on your door but you can be the one who doesn't not answer that door to those customers so what happens when you decide to start choosing your quality of customers you have less stress because you are setting boundaries as to what you permit to be in your life, even in the business space. It is simply not worth your time or well-being to be dealing with some of these unpleasant customers. Block them, charge for their unblocking fees, charge for extra messaging fees. However you'd like to set up that boundary is your choice, but please simply do not let unpleasant customers walk all over you. This is your business, this is your space, and do not permit extra stress for yourself because you're permitting these customers to enter your space. Well, babes, that concludes today's topics. I hope you learned something from this. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below, turning on that notification bell so you don't miss my next video coming up very soon. Bye for now. Till next time.